Good morning, I'm meteorologist Ann Amaranti, and if you followed my social media, then you've definitely seen my dog Luna and her new sister Eva, our new puppy. Now both are chocolate labs, and they're just awesome dogs. They're playing along great together so far, but I want to keep them as happy and healthy as possible. So I want to introduce our new pet parasite forecast, which takes a look at the levels of parasites like ticks and heartworm. Now each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we'll dive into the data on these pesky parasites so you know what's going on in your own backyard. And we're kicking it off this week by looking at Lyme disease, which so many of us in Connecticut have had experiences with or know someone who has. It's a bacterial illness that can be transmitted to humans, dogs, and other animals by certain species of ticks. Those ticks are most likely to be found in tall grasses, thick brush, marshes, and woods. Although you can find them year-round, ticks tend to be more active during the warmer months, so these last few nice September days might actually be putting your pet at a higher risk. So this right here is our pet parasite forecast map. Now it shows that much of the northeast is in that high range, and you can go state by state, county by county. We can zoom into Connecticut here and see that the numbers are a little lower than historical averages, but still in that high range. So with the elevated chance, it's definitely a good idea to do daily tick checks of your pet and your family and talk to your vet about tick protection for your furry friends. This content was provided by Pet Disease Alerts, a nonprofit organization funded by the Companion Animal Parasite Council. This forecast is sponsored and made possible by Merck Animal Health, the makers of Brevecto Flea and Tick Treatment.